Hi, I hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Anne Britt and welcome to my channel. My background is I'm a beauty therapist, holistic therapist, and I've been in the skincare beauty industry, worked in it for 30 years. So without further ado, let's get into today's video, which is about lactic acid 10% plus HA. So I'm going to be doing a 101. First of all, we're going to talk about contraindications, patch test, and I'm going to show you a demonstration, how to use it, what you can use after, the conflicts, etc, etc, etc. So let's get into the video. So let me say quickly, because I always forget, please like and subscribe if you like the content. It's just an exchange of positive energy and it's for free. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, before we even talk about how to use this or do a demonstration, let's first of all talk about contraindications is very important with any direct acid so the contraindications you are not going to use on compromised skin sensitive skin or skin that's peeling so as advised with any direct acid especially doing lactic acid glycolic acid or the chemical peel i have detailed videos on these also so you can see but with a direct acid it's very important to do a patch test now how do you do that so you just put it on clean, dry skin, either in the forearm here, or a better place to do it actually is behind the ear. Wait 24 hours, wash it off. If it sort of came up with really red and blistering and stinging and very, very painful, then you're not going to do it. So that's a quick solution. Do a patch test first. So let's first of all talk about what is lactic acid. So, and what does it do for your skin? So, lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, and this is 10% with, it's a milder, so you would say, what's the difference between, say, the chemical peel and this? Well, this is a, is a much milder form of how to exfoliate. However, less is more. I will talk about that later. And obviously, it's not as strong as glycolic acid. It is suggested this comes in a 5% solution and a 10% solution. I have the 10%, but it is suggested that you start on the 5% solution and then move on to the 10% solution here. So with any alpha hydroxy acid, you should use this in the evening time because it makes your skin photosensitive, sensitive to the sun. So it's always best to use an exfoliator be it salicylic acid, be it glycolic or the red peel, definitely in the evening time and make sure you always use your sun protection. So what's the target? What does lactic acid do for your skin? So it targets fine lines and wrinkles, very good for anti-aging. First of all, it targets uneven skin tone and then also textural irregularities. Okay, so good for oily skin, open pores, you know, you know the deal. Now, just like glycolic acid and the chemical peel, you'll see it has this lovely peachy colour and that is because of the Tasmanian pepperberry, which is also in these two products. Excuse the bike that went past. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it easy just with the tree frogs. Anyway, it's the Tasmanian pepperberry that gives it the colour. So that is included in here because when you're using acids, the Tasmanian pepperberry reduces the inflammation and sensitivity that can happen when you're using acids. This is a water-based solution and we put it on dry skin just the same with the other acids and when you use the salicylic acid mask, I also have a video on that. So we put this on dry skin, two to three drops and then we will talk about the conflicts later. So without further ado, let's get into the demo where I'm going to show you how to apply and what to use after and all that jazz. So let's so get welcome it. to the demo. I'm all clean and dry, ready to go. So we're going to apply three drops, four drops of the lactic acid, but 10% plus HA. So this is a water-based serum and we apply it on dry skin, just to say the same as before with the other direct acids. Always do it on dry skin. Avoid the eye contour area, never put it near your eyes. So all this area here. And it absorbs quickly, it's not, even though it has 
uh, <clears throat> sodium hyaluronate. In fact, I need to put a couple more drops because my neck. Hyaluronic acid. It does not feel thick. It's very um, medium texture. Put it that way. So it absorbs quickly into the skin. And you're going to keep your skincare very simple after you put on <clears throat> your lactic acid. So let me tell you what else is in here. We have glycerin, which is moisturizing, humectant. We have sodium hyaluronate. hyaluronic We have acid. two other ingredients in here. The first one begins with P. I am not going to say it. <laughs> so what that does is it unclogs the pores. I'm going to pop up on the screen just in case I'm not saying it right, but it's Acacia Senegal gum, which improves texture. It supports collagen and elastin and it has anti-aging you know benefits and it smooths wrinkles and fine lines so lovely ingredients in this and let that get to work overnight so what you can do after you've applied that you can put on i'm going to put on my favorite marine hyaluronics now i'm at the end of this so hopefully i can get yeah, one two see the bubble three so just keep it simple, like you can use hyaluronic acid or what I'm doing, the marine hyaluronics. And I just had to tip, I'm at the end of the bottle, I just had to tip that in there. So <clears throat> what I'm going to apply after this, now you could, what I like to do is because I'm using an active, I like to seal in the moisture, so <clears throat> What I like to do because I have been using this in my nighttime busy. So what I'm going to use after my marine hyaluronics is Picanogenel. <laughs> I will write at the screen, but that's an antioxidant. I have been using this at nighttime. This is fabulous for ladies my age because it gives you a lot of hydration, glowy skin. You want to seal that moisture in after your exfoliation, and it improves elasticity. Got to firm them chops up. So this will be in another video, but this comes in a little 15 mil. And just look at the beautiful color of that, that red, orange. Now you only need one, two drops. Wash your hands after this because it does stain if on white fabric. Now this is an hydronized solution, so this is oil free, water free, so you apply that after your water based solution. And then I am going to apply my rose hip seed oil, best oil ever for anti-aging. Many benefits with this. Three drops. And then I'm going to seal it in with moisturizing factors and HA. So also about the lactic acid, 10% plus HA, I think I mentioned everything apart from this. It's alcohol free, it's oil free, silicone free, nut free, vegan, gluten free, and cruelty free. And then we're going to seal in with the natural moisturizing factors plus H8. And then I'm going to wake up tomorrow like a glowing goddess. Wish this pimple would disappear. Ridiculous at my age, still getting pimples in it, but the humidity is off the charts, so yes, it wreaks havoc with your skin. So that's it, it's very simple. You will only feel a slight, like I did, you might feel a slight tingling sensation when you put your lactic acid on, but it disappears within like a few seconds. Using a direct acid, it should never burn, it should never sting, it should just be like a slight tingling sensation, just like what I said, if anything, okay? So now, let's get back to showing you the demo. Conflicts when you're using your lactic acid 10% plus HA. So on the evening that you're going to use this, do not use peptides, including copper peptides. EUK134, you don't use it with other direct acids. You don't use it with retinoids, retinol, you don't use it with vitamin C, pure or ethylated. So just keep your skincare simple, just like what I showed you in the video, you know, your 
water-based serum that doesn't conflict, be it hyaluronic acid, marine hyaluronics, and you can use an antioxidant if you want, you don't have to, and then you can use like a nice facial oil that's right for you and your moisturizing factors plus HA. Just keep it simple because when you've exfoliated, you want to put a nice layer of moisture on top of the skin and your skin is going to feel like a goddess the next morning. So let's talk about the packaging and the storage. So you are going to keep this in a cool dry place, the same as with any of your direct acids and it comes in a 30ml size and it's $8. I mean, how cheap is that? Just remember guys, less is more when you're exfoliating, even though this is much milder than the chemical peel or the glycolic acid, less is more. Please look at my video where I am talking about what over exfoliation can do to your skin. People are going too crazy with exfoliation. You should exfoliate, so let's talk about that. How often should you really exfoliate? You should exfoliate, I don't care what skin type you have, a maximum of twice a week. Folk are doing it every other night and like much more than that is so unnecessary. And you're going to end up with skin like this little fella right here. So we don't want to end up with lizard skin guys, you know what I'm saying? Less is more. Fantastic ingredient. Fantastic too. My least favourite, I must admit, and has to be used in real moderation. But, I love these two. This one is amazing. Your skin is going to feel like a goddess the next morning. And it's fantastic because you just put it on and then you apply the rest of your skincare, just like I showed in the demo. And that's it. I mean, I love the chemical peel, but, you know, sometimes you can't be bothered. You want <laughs> your skin to be unclogged and exfoliated overnight and you don't want to be you know waiting putting this on 10 minutes and then taking it off so this is a much milder form right but please remember this is more so i hope you enjoyed this video tonight i really thank you for watching and i would really appreciate your love and support because you know i'm spending friday nights saturday nights whenever i can after working and coming home like an oil slick and doing the videos so, until the next skincare video, I'm going to say adios over and out, and thank you for watching. Bye!